Good morning, friends, and welcome to our Godly Play classroom. If we look up here at our church calendar, the colors have changed. We've gone from our green and growing days to our purple days. I wonder if our story today will help us understand what this purple season is all about. There was someone who told the people what it was like to be part of the family of God. And people really listened and they wanted to understand, but it was so confusing. And they weren't even sure who he was. And so one time they asked him, who are you? And Jesus said, I am the light. So that light is still with us as we get ready for our story today. So I hope that you'll get into a comfortable position wherever you are. Let's take one big deep breath together. <sighs> this is the time of the color purple. Now purple is the color of royalty, the color of queens and of kings. And we are waiting for a king, the king who was coming and who went away and who came back. A special kind of king, not the kind of king that we really would think about. You know, the church decided that we needed a special time to get ready and to prepare. And just like with Advent, we have this time of getting ready. I wonder how much time we have to get ready. How many weeks do you think we have to get ready for the mystery of Easter? Let's see. Well, there's one. It's a very interesting shape, isn't it? Here's two. Hmm, let's see. Oh, here's another one. Here's three. Hmm. Oh, and here's four. Maybe that's it. Maybe we have one, two, three, four weeks of Lent. Four weeks to get ready for the mystery of Easter. Is there another time in our church calendar when we have four weeks to get ready? It's that time that we get ready for Christmas, isn't it? But Easter is an even bigger mystery than Christmas. We have more weeks. Here's another one. Oh, here we go. Let's see how many pieces we have. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's six weeks of Lent. Six weeks to get ready for the mystery of Easter. You know, this is a time when we get to learn more about Jesus and more about who Jesus really was. But Lent is also a time for us to get to know ourselves and who we really are. Now we know that purple is a serious color and something serious is going to happen. Purple's kind of a sad color, too. I wonder what this makes when we put it all together. Let's see.
What do you see? I see a cross. A cross is very serious. You know, Jesus grew up to be a man, and then he died on the cross. And this is very, very sad. But, look at this. That sadness changes. The purple, the color of seriousness, changes to the color of pure celebration. Easter turns everything inside out. Easter turns everything inside out. It turns our sadness into joy, our loneliness into togetherness. And you can't keep Easter just on one Sunday. We celebrate the season of Easter for one, two, three, four, five, six weeks. We spend six weeks just celebrating how Easter changes everything. I wonder, what is your favorite part of Lent? I wonder what the most important part of Lent is. I wonder what you and I can do to be a part of this time of preparing. I wonder what getting ready feels like for you. And I wonder what all of this celebration is all about. Well, now it's time for us to change the candle. As we change the light, we know that it doesn't just go away. But as the light changes, it fills up the whole space around us. We take the light of Christ with us wherever we go.